Welcome to Real Life Wednesday, where we talk about where faith and real life intersect. Today, we are joined again by the Reverend Dave Broadus Amen. from Strong Tower Christian Fellowship, and we are so blessed to have him with us today. Uh, so uh, if you're not familiar, we are doing a Bible battle where we uh, Travis Holtzhauser will choose one or two verses out of 31,102 in the Bible, and uh, we don't know what those verses are. We will each have one minute to look at it, beginning from after the Scripture is read. Uh, so, uh, David, I believe it's your turn to read All right. the Scripture first. Here we go. We are still in the Old Testament, out of the book of Isaiah. It says, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publishes peace, peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publishes salvation, saith, uh, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. I love this verse. I, I really do. Um, I appreciate getting this verse. Um, this verse to me has a lot of symbolism. So how beautiful are the feet of those who deliver upon the mountain? The mountain in this verse to me represents the trouble and the struggles that we all go through. It represents an obstacle and a difficulty. And so the feet of those who bring the gospel are like me and you, Pastor Matt. So when we encounter people who are having obstacles and troubles in their life, we bring the good tidings, we bring the joy, we bring God, we bring the reminder of his yeah. love to the people who are on the mountains. So when you're up there and you're in your low place, typically you hang your head. So you don't behold all of Pastor Matt, but I see those sandals and I recognize that on Sundays I see that. So even the thought of bringing just the foot the bottom of man into the situation where I'm troubled in representation of God brings me good joy and glad tidings that I know he hasn't forgotten about me, even in my struggles and in my situation. So I love the symbolism represented in this verse. All right. Amen. Amen. We see God actually three different times here in scripture. Mm -hmm. um, we see God is mentioned by name, of course. Right. We see the mountain right. that can represent the troubles, uh, exactly like you're saying, but they can also represent a, a paradise and a home with God. That's we, right. see, we, we, we see Eden um, and, and uh, Jeremiah what was was built on a mountain top. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so, so that mm -hmm. is also That's representative right. of God. And of course, the feet of God. Um, the Ark of the Covenant is like a footrest for God right. in many ways. So mm -hmm. we see God, God, God. And, and what is God showing us over and over and again is His beauty, is His glory. Mm -hmm. And it's all about glorifying Him. That's right. Um, our lives. And, 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 and Reverend David does this so well, but he reflects that glory. Amen. When I'm at my best, uh, a few seconds a day, I, I'm glorifying, I'm reflecting God's glory. When Amen. you are at your best, you're reflecting God's glory and Amen. reflecting those that beautiful news. May we continue to reflect that glory. Um, let's see who won this week. Uh, we have Travis. Uh, I thought we were both pretty solid this time. Okay, no, he's saying, oh, uh, the Lord uh, won this the one. Lord? The Lord won Amen. this one. Okay, Amen. sounds good. <laughs> Join us again next Wednesday.